So as I mentioned, the service I'm going to use to set up the custom domain, well, to set up the DNS for our custom domain and really add support for SSL is Cloudflare. So go to the Cloudflare website and just log in or create an account. It should send you to a, a page or somewhat like this perhaps, but essentially you need to add a site. Okay. I have a domain name that I'm just going to use, but then basically put in the domain name that you perhaps have just purchased. So I've got a domain name called Page Appify, and then you click Begin Scan. Now maybe you're coming back to this course at some point in the future, and perhaps the uh, Cloudflare website has, has changed somewhat. Essentially, the format is always going to be kind of the same, really. You'll just always have to put in, add the site, put in the domain name, begin a scan, and it'll take about 60 seconds. And then once it's ready, it will take you to the next page where it'll give you a few more instructions. Okay, once it's finished scanning, you just click continue setup. Then it'll get, send you to this page which lets you set up your DNS records. Now, what you choose here depends on how you want your application to be served. Do you want it to be served from a site like www.pageappify.com or do you want to be served from what's called a naked domain which is just pageappify.com? Again, you're actually not supposed to have a naked domain. But with Cloudflare, it lets you kind of do that in a, in a pretty safe way. Now, I like naked domains. I don't really like to type in the www too much, especially for situations like this. So if you wanted to do a site like www, in fact, there's already one here. Let me get rid of it. If you wanted to set up just a www, I would type www, which is the domain, the subdomain that we want to uh, point to. And I wanted to point to our Heroku servers domain. I'm just going to paste that in and hit add record. So what this is saying is, it, is if someone goes to www.pageappify.com, then I want them to go to our Heroku application. In addition to that, if you just wanted to do, use the page Appify without the www, you can just put an at symbol in the name. And again, it creates a CNAME record with our Heroku app as the second parameter. Hit save. And then, then there you go. It's so now pageappify.com is going to be served by our herokuapp.com. So the final thing we need to do is we need to make sure that these clouds are set to run, are, are orange, which means that the traffic will go through Cloudflare, which you really need in order to support HTTPS. So now once you're ready, once you've set up all the DNS that you want to set up, click continue. You can choose your plan now. Now we just want a free plan. So it's saying for, for a free plan, you get SSL. When it says limited browsers, don't worry. It's really talking about IE6 and really, really, really old browsers, which you really shouldn't be supporting anymore. Once you're ready there, click continue. And the final thing you need to do is you need to change your name servers. Okay, so depending on the service that you use to purchase your domain name, let's say, for instance, GoDaddy, you would need to log into GoDaddy account and then figure out from their instructions on how to change the name servers. Now, if you click on help, it gives you a little bit more information, but really what you need to do is you need to search the help documentation for the site where you purchase your domain names and follow the instructions to change your name servers. Now, I've already changed my name servers. So this is the current name server and this is saying change that to this one. So what I've done is I've actually already changed them to my uh, Cloudflare name servers. Now this step might actually take a quite a while. It might take up to 24 hours to complete. So you really should get this done well before you want to release. So once that's done, you click continue. And then that's it really. So you can recheck the name servers. So now I'm done, I'm ready to rock and roll. So now if I theoretically go to pageappify.com in a browser, I should expect our parse server, the root message to appear but i'm not seeing that what am i seeing i'm seeing heroku no such app that's because as well as telling cloudflare that page appify should point to herokuapp.com we also need to tell our app on heroku to expect the domain name page appify to point to it okay so what we go what we do is we go back into our application we go into settings we scroll down to the domain section and then we click add a domain. And all we need to do here is add the pageappify.com. Hit save changes. 
And there we go. We're now told that it should expect a request from pageappify.com really should is targeting this application on Heroku. So now if I go back to our uh, browser tab and I hit refresh, we are now being served the pass server. So now our pass server is using pageappify.com. Okay. And as well as pageappify.com, let's go ahead and add the www as well. Now, if we go back into the Cloudflare settings, let's look at them, the options at the top. And I want to go into the crypto tab. And we can now set the SSL settings for our server. So we've got it. You can see there's an option, a couple of options here on the right hand side. So I want to choose full. Now, if a message underneath comes up saying a pending certification or something like that, you may need to wait a little bit of time for the uh, active certificate message to come up. They say it may take up to 24 hours, but honestly, I've, I've never seen it take uh, more than a few minutes. So once that's set up, that now means that we have HTTPS connectivity between the browser and Cloudflare and also between Cloudflare and the Heroku server itself. So if we now go and open up a browser and do HTTPS, www, I'll do www for now for this one. And we do www.pageappify.com. There we go. Everything's now functioning. You can see the HTTPS, at least in Chrome, is green, which means everything's fine. And everything looks really good. And your connection to this site is private. And if you go to slash pars, you can then see that our, our API is at least working. Well, we're, we're unauthorized to do anything, but at least you know it's working. So that's how I like to use Cloudflare in combination with Heroku to set up custom domains with which we can use to serve our site and serve our API. And also a very cheap and easy way to set up HTTPS secure connectivity between your application and your PaaS server.